In problem number five of section 3.7, we're asked to find the mass of a ball that's centered at, um, ball of radius three that's centered at the origin with um, density, with constant density in each cross section parallel to the yz plane. And density function is equal to uh, delta of x equals x squared plus one. So the that we're trying to, or the ball that we're trying to find the mass of, look like, look like this. And this is y-axis, we've got the x-axis and z-axis. And now that each cross-section parallel to the y-z plane has density um, given by x squared plus one. So what we're really, what we're going to want to do is take, you know, a bunch of slices parallel to the yz plane, uh, find the infinitesimal density, or um, write the infinitesimal density of each one, and add those all up. So the area um, of one of the cross sections, you know, it's just, it's going to be a circle, and the radius is um, going to be equal to have our x value here. The radius will just be um, equal to, when well, we know this is r equals 3, and we know this is x, then the height is just going to be, call this, well, let's actually call um, right, so the radius is equal to 3, it's called the radius of the cross section uh, R1. We have R1 is equal to uh, square root of R squared minus X squared. And it's equal to square root of 9 minus, um, This should be a radius 9, so r is equal to 3, or r is equal to 9. So this would be the square root of 81 minus x squared. And so the formula for the mass is just the integral from negative 9 to 9. So we'll be integrating over from x equals negative 9 to 9 of the area, so the area function now is um, pi times the radius squared. Uh, well, you can say r1 of x, so the radius of uh, each circular cross section, uh, times the density function, which is x squared plus 1 dx. Uh, let's see. I'll Continue this up here. This is equal to the integral from negative 9 to 9 of, okay, I'm going to uh, take a little bit of a shortcut. Since we're talking about a sphere, um, it's completely symmetrical on either side. You know, each density, or each cross section has um, a fixed density at the point x, and that density is going to be the same on the point, at the point negative x. So we can just make the integral a little bit easier. Just take the integral from 0 to 9 and multiply it by 2. And then the integral is uh, the integral of pi times um, r1 of x squared. So the squared is just 81 minus x squared times x squared plus 1 dx. If we uh, pull the pi of the integral or, and uh, expand the um, integrand, we get the integral of negative x to the fourth. And we have 81x squared minus x squared, so plus 80x squared plus 81 dx. 
this is equal to 2 pi times uh, negative 1 fifth x to the fifth plus uh, 80 over 3 times x cubed plus 81x. Uh, evaluated from 0 to 9. And if you work that out, that is equal to 52,522.4. Uh, if we assume that all our units are standard metric units, uh, this will be kilograms.